Hello class, welcome to Bio 101. So prior to completing your first module, I thought to put together a pretty, a pretty good overview of your first module. So as you all begin the module, there are seven items that you all should have completed to at least start the module, and the most paramount of which is going to be your syllabus quiz. So please ensure that the syllabus quiz is completed prior to January 12th at 11.59 p.m. You have two attempts to complete that syllabus quiz, and of course, you must earn, at the very least, a score of a 4 out of 5. That's the minimum score you get to move on to finally get to Module 1. So again, I say please complete all seven items in the course overview. That way you are able to continue on to Module 1. So a bit of advice I'll give is, if possible, if at all possible, ensure you complete some work for this Bio 101 course each and every day. That way, there won't be any, I guess you say, issues with technology that keep you from completing all of your coursework by 11.59 on the 21st of January, because that is when the test is over, and that is when all labs should also be completed. So I say again, please get a bit of work done each and every day. So avoid procrastination, because technology happens, and I would hate for you to be locked out because you're trying to complete so much work at the end of the module. So let's get to what you will do. So as you get to the module, as you've already seen, there will be two files. There will be a chapter one outline, as well as a chapter one PowerPoint. In addition to that, there will be a chapter two outline and a chapter two PowerPoint. So before I get even further into those chapters, I would say, please, as you do turn in those outlines, turn in a single document. I repeat, turn in one document with only the answers. I repeat, turn in one document with only the answers for both chapters one and two. And this will be done for each and every other chapter that comes hereafter. So thereafter, I guess I suppose to get down to the chapters. So in chapter one, you'll be looking at the diversity of life. This is kind of an overview and an introduction to biology. From there, you get on into how we have those very, very brief themes in biology. And after those themes of biology, which includes the properties of life, meaning everything on Earth has these properties, meaning cells. We also have organization, metabolism, homeostasis, then, of course, is heredity and growth and reproduction. That's what you'll be learning about in the first part of chapter one. And then you get into the process of doing science along with the scientific method. And then this will be ended with core themes in biology, such as the cell theory, being all things being composed of cells, and having those cells, and giving rise to other cells, and that basic unit of life. Thereafter, you will on over into the second of two chapters, and you'll end things up with basic chemistry. So what you'll do is look at those three subatomic particles, three subatomic particles, those protons, neutrons, and electrons, and then of course how those electrons are enabling chemical bonds to occur, that being the hydrogen bond, that is the covalent bond thereafter, and then of course the ionic bond. Thereafter you get to ions and isotopes, we'll get to molecules, and how those molecules make these things that we need for life, and then the chapter will end with water and its properties. Those amazing properties about having its high specific heat, why ice floats, and of course its evaporative cooling effect. And then of course how adhesion and cohesion work hand in hand. And then finally you get to how water ionizes. And of course, along with pH, the hydrogen power of these solutions. So upon completing all of those, the three labs for this module are as follows. It is lab safety, the scientific method, and then metric measurement. So please ensure you complete all of this before the 21st day of January at 11.59 p.m. As ever, if anything is ever needed, please do not hesitate to call me, email me, or just stop by if you're on campus. Thank you for coming, thank you for logging in, and have a wonderful, wonderful day.